Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Okay, what you're watching today, I would call it Exhibit A. And what I'm doing for you guys, you know, I always bring you guys my live chats and my live streams at 9 a.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I figure I add something new, something to help and be beneficial to all my peoples out there and everybody that tunes into the show. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking down different individual things that can help you out and get you into a better mindset. And these are some of the things that got me to this point where I am and why I feel so grateful. And I'm just upgrading my life in a different way we should say okay so anybody that ever heard of minimalism or being a minimalist we've i've seen different documentaries on it and one thing that i can say that it doesn't really it does not every documentary is relatable to today's um times and these times what we're going and what we're dealing with so i wanted to just give you my take on it and what you can add to your life that i added to mine that helped me out okay first things first if we don't realize what's been going on in America, we have so many things. And a lot of these things we don't really need. They're just there just to serve the moment or that little burst of dopamine. So what we have to do is start redesigning our lives. If we think about it, a lot of the things that being, are being sold to us in these times, they are made to only last maybe one, two years, and they expect you to resubscribe or buy a new one or a new version. We know how it goes. And the more you keep buying and the more you keep buying, you start stacking a whole bunch of things that you really don't need. And those are the things that keep your mind cluttered, your life cluttered, and you can't go forward because you have so much that you're leaving behind that makes no sense. So what I wanted to tell you about my life and the reason why I chose this route, it's not only more peaceful, but it keeps you out of the traffic of this keeping up and this structured lifestyle people think that's going to make you more happier. Okay, number one, when it comes to minimalism, it's not a lot of people, the misconceptions about it, I feel is a lot of people think it has something to do with you being broke or something like you not being able to afford something or you know or you want something that you can't have and that's not what it's really about it's really understanding and designing your life to yourself and how you live a lot of people look on social media and they look at other people's lives and they try to redesign their life to that and that's the reason why it never usually works but if you become a minimalist in your life and start cutting out the things that really doesn't serve you as a person and your soul then you start to see that you do save money, you do save mental stress, you save yourself a whole lot of worries and just mishaps that would have came just because you had a whole bunch of stuff that you really didn't need or you spent your money or you could have put your money into something else that could better serve you as a person. And I found myself in that way because I started to realize like I'm, I was the type of person that I had a lot of things and I still have a lot of things and I'm cutting them off. A lot of people think that becoming a minimalist is because, you know, you have no more money. To me, it's not the case. I started more concentrating on where do I put my dollar, um, what serves me better as a person. The things that represent me as a culture, I started looking into those things and those things serve me better. It's not about me not having the money to pay for something. I just felt like I see a lot of people doing the same things. And as I see society and the youth killing the other youth, killing youth and adults just for like materialistic things like Rolexes and watches and chains and diamonds, I started to realize what is it all really worth? Like all those things are not really worth you losing your life. Then I see other on the other side of it, it changes them as a person. So when they put that type of stuff on, they tend to go into the mode of the person that they looked up to, to, you know, want to get that stuff. And it's this cycle of people just trying to be like other people and losing their real sense of why God put them on this earth. So when I started looking into that, that's when this whole minimalism and this minimalist, I started seeing, cause I, you know me, I have my own brand. It's called Inspired by Dreams. Ding. It's inspired by dreams and I, I try to keep 
something original so people could buy into something that's, you know, they can add to their closet that doesn't look like everything else. And just going down that road, that journey, I started to realize, yeah, you know, minimalism is the way to go because it's not the fact that you you want is you can't buy something, but you know that urge and that feeling you get that you really want something, and then when you get it within the next three months, you you don't really have that urge anymore for it because it's there and it's not really what you expected, and you're often looking into the next thing, and your mind is all corrupt about getting that. That's the type of exercising in your mind that you don't really need. As a minimalist, just knowing that you can buy it serves that same emotion and that same feeling that, you know, you don't have to go out there and buy it. You can put your money into more of you. And it's not a it's not a selfish thing when people say, oh, I'm investing in myself, because what people don't understand about that is investing in yourself helps so many people around you and so many other people out there. So when somebody says they're investing in themselves, it says a lot. It says that they're going to be their truthful self and they're going to be more straight up with their conversations, straight up with what they put out there, just their life in general. And the things that serve and mean most of them will be the things that reflect them as a person. That's what it really means. But sometimes people's understanding understanding of it looks like, oh, no, I, that person's just doing things for them. No, it's not that. It's the fact that they found themselves in a place where the material stuff and all that, they seen the problems that came with that. And we've seen different things that, you know, it gives you like a shorter span. And once you see these things, you want to reconstruct your life and don't make these same mistakes. And that's where this whole minimalist and minimalism for me stems from. So if you want to look into being a minimalist or a minimalist or start your minimalism journey, it's always simple. Don't look at these documentaries because most of them, they sit for that person. And I'm not going to say don't take a look at to un have the understanding of it. But my version of minimalist is just the things you love setting them aside from the things that you like. So in other words, you're pushing, you're separating your your wants and your needs. And you're not just getting them, like pushing all the your wants out. You just take, be more cautious, cautious about the wants that you're adding into the your needs section. Because those are going to be the things that just serve you for a short spare sense of time. But your needs are going to be the things that's going to serve you for a lifetime. And these are the things when you structure it around yourself, you live a happier life. You know, a lot of people, they think that, you know, having so much money brings the happiness. But really, what's the problem is if you're uncomfortable in the space that you're in, first things you want to check first, it might not be you. It could be your environment. It could be the environment you're in. Their mindsets are structured around this is what equals happiness. And if you see something different out of that, then you won't have that same mindset. You won't feel that same, that same, you know, uncomfortableness. And that's the one of the reasons why you have to feel comfortable in your mindset, comfortable in your skin, comfortable in the things you love. So when you get around people that don't see things the same as you, you still have that strong sense of who you are. And that's one of the reasons why I say minimalism and minimalist, it has, I think everybody should really concentrate on this and it would definitely change us and make us more individuals instead of looking at what everybody else is doing and trying to do the same thing. Now, there is a thing about copying and being successful at copying, but that's not what this is about. Because copying, really what people are saying, copying is not really, it's deeper than what people think. Copying has to just show like, um, I would say pow, let's call it pow, proof of work, proof that that Thing, whatever you're copying it worked before so now you want you know that it's definitely going to work so pow proof of work and you're going to do the same thing but what a minimalist is it's actually like niching down and just taking what maybe looking at something that somebody does and not copying but saying can this serve me in my life and the things that i'm doing and if so what can it you know because what people don't realize it's not about how, the more stuff you have that can put you in a place of not wanting to do new things because you have to maintain what you have. That's why sometimes you see people with less are more happier. And it's when I say less, I don't mean financially. I'm just saying things, stuff, things around them that's set in place to make this artificial happiness feel like it's a reality. 
And if you have, you can have tons of money, but just be a minimalist and in, in the things that you buy. Instead of buying three all the time, four all the time, cut it down to one, two. And you still, you're still a minimalist because you're not, you're sticking by your means and you're being like preservative on the things that you're going out there and you're not seeing things. I want all of this because a lot of people, just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean that you want to take everything. You just want to maybe get a one, two choices of the things that serve you. So becoming a minimalist, don't let anybody fool you and say, oh, it's because you're broke or you're poor or you're rich. Or it, no, you can have any amount of money. It's not about the money. It's about the mindset. So don't let people fool you and add money into this whole equation because money is not the thing that's going to get your mindset. Usually people that complain about money are people that are just uncomfortable in their life settings because of money. It's usually because either they, have, they don't have enough to cover their needs or they're in a place where people are making them feel uncomfortable even though they're in the same setting as them, but they're making them feel uncomfortable because maybe it looks like those people are reaching somewhere faster that you are maybe set your goals to reach. And that all comes within the crabs in the barrel, but you have to get out. Your mindset is what's going to keep you on your journey. The stronger the mind, the longer you have time. Because if your mind is weak, the time you have will always seem like it's just decreasing. I'm running out of time. I can't do this. Oh, they already got there. All of that stuff has to do with time. And time and your mind are the strongest things that you're going to need to get through with your life and, feel a, and, live, and fulfill a happy and live a happy life, I should say. So that's one of the things, too. Another thing is, if you're going to become a minimalist, as far as like a content creator... There's a, there's a lot of ways of going about it. I see a lot of content creators, they're just throwing stuff out there just because the news is in. They want the views, the views, the views, the views. And then it piles up and your channel looks like just a whole bunch of stuff. It's not really orchestrated. But if you want to be a minimalist within a content creator, you will pick out more of the things that serve you. Just because it's in the news doesn't mean that you have to speak on it. Now, if it's something in the news where it's like there's an abundance of sneakers and somebody's house burns down and the, their whole sneaker collection you know, got burned to shreds. Yeah, I can find a way to pull that into you guys because I'm talking about minimalist and mindset. And maybe I can just off the back, I can say something like come up with something how if you had a stronger mindset, those abundance of sneakers wouldn't have meant much as much to you as the your goldfish in the tank, you know? So it's all about your mindset and how you think that's going to, you know, carry you on to the future. And the reason why I'm trying to help you guys to see it that way is because it helps me out a lot. I see so much different in people than other people view them as. Like I can see a person just lie into the people's face just because of the sake of them covering up, you know, maybe something they did in the past or maybe their insecurities. I can read that off the back from here, from anywhere I can read it. And the reason why I can read it doesn't make me like a genie or some magician. It's because my mindset. And if you guys get on the same mindset, you won't have to worry about who's doing what or how many views he had or how many viewers he had, or how much money he's making. You're more concentrating on how much it's going to take for you to for you to fulfill that happiness that serves your lifestyle and your way of living. And that's all I'm here to do. Not here to give you these fake tips on, you know, buy this book or buy that book because, you know, everybody has a business attached to this sense of living a better life. And that's not really how I look at it to be. I feel like if you want to attach a business to anybody, anybody, and you want to bring it off to the people, whereas you're being a truthful person, all you have to do is let them know what you do and the reason why you got there and the reason why you're giving this information. And as truthful as you can be, that's when the people will see that that real sense of who you are as a human being. I don't like to just come on to YouTube and just tell people, you know, things that I don't know are deem deemed to work. You know, like if it works for me and I'm like, oh, that's the reason why it worked for me. And I figured it out for myself. Once I start figuring things out for myself, then I can present it to you guys and say, you know what? It worked for me. But if it hasn't worked for anybody or just somebody I've seen and they say it worked for them, there's no way I can present that to you guys because... When it all boils down, it's all about being truthful. Just because I might not know something doesn't mean that I can't research it for you and maybe give you a better breakdown for you to understand it than if you had go out there and look for it yourself because of the mindset that I'm at right now. And that's how this whole thing, you know, really, really ends up becoming 
a major thing in your life. Just minimalizing your life and realizing that social media and, you know, the world has so many things to throw at you. You have to know what's the right things to catch. What's the things that's going to be meaningful to my life and the things that's blurring my life, like, you know, the the things that I don't really need, the things that um people try to put in your face to make you feel like, oh, this is going to make you you. No, those are the things that you don't have to invest your money into. You know, build yourself, become your own brand. I'm not saying you have to be a clothing brand. You could be any type of brand you want. You can be a brand that that sends shoots people in the right way or, or, or you can be a brand that you know be your own be your own be a brand that opens people's minds to journeys that they never thought that can you know exist that's what i i rather do i don't like to compare myself to anybody i see a lot of people nowadays on youtube you can't have negative energy and positive energy at the same time. Your message has to be as clear as possible, I feel, to the people so they can take it in and understand you for who you really are. And understand that your message means a lot to a lot of people. So be responsible in the things that you put out to the people and have some kind of, you know, reference and things people can go to. And if they want to research it themselves, they can learn their own way and always be, you know, Always be that starting point for people and, and don't worry about the finishing point because we all have different finishes in life and things that we understand and don't understand. We can come together and figure it all out. So this is going to be the first episode. I say, let's just say, you know, um, this is going to be the first episode that I bring to you guys. I hope you really like this um, episode and it's just giving you some inside tips. I know Later on, I'll have so many different things that I can show you and edit in there for you so it can make it a lot easier for your intake. But I wanted you to take this with you and it came on my mind and I just said, you know what, I, I want to I wanna bring this out to my people and let them know how I feel. And maybe this can help some of you guys out there just knowing that the things that you put and set your mind to make sure those are the important things and then the need section instead of the want section. So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do with this channel. 